Here we are in iManage Work 10, and you'll see a number of documents in front of you. Now, my objective here is to start a business process for a particular document, whether that's routing it around for approval, sending it to another database, another system, or what have you. But we want to start off that business process. So I'll click on the three dots right here. You'll see a, an option down here at the bottom called Start Workflow. I'll click on that. And what appears is, of course, the document name, number, version information, and date. You'll see a bunch of workflows based on your solution and your requirements. Different workflows, of course, will be here. The one we're talking about is Send to President's Database. Now, let's cancel this for a moment. I want to show you something else. I'm going to go back over here to Versions. Now, let's say I don't want to route the latest version. I want to route a previous version. Well, from here, same concept. Hit the three dots. Go down to my Start Workflow option. Same options appear, except you'll notice now my version number is one, and here's, of course, the date of that version. But the doc number shows up, and of course, the name. From here, I select the workflow I want. In this example, it's not a review I want to do. I want to send it to the precedence database. So I'll hit Start Workflow, and I'm presented with a form that I might use to move the document or begin the process. Obviously, based on your solution, the form would look different, okay? The metadata, how we gather it, all that stuff, this will depend on your solution and your workflows. But the key thing is, right from the document, I got to this workflow starting or business process starting form. Down the bottom, you'll also see some information about the document that we're routing as well. So, I fill my form out, I hit submit, and the workflow begins.